At Memory Lane Publishing in Toronto's Markham Street Village, the antiques are comic books, Superman, Batman, Captain Marvel. And the proprietor is George Henderson, or as he's better known, Captain George. I've been in business four and a half years, and when I came into the business, uh, the fad, or what you want to call it, was at its peak, but it's been going, uh, I would say, since about 1951. Uh, but it was underground then. Now it's above ground. The people aren't embarrassed anymore about admitting that they collect comic books. Well, what would you classify as an antique comic book? What do the collectors go after? A legitimate antique comic book is anything dated from 1945 to 1933. It's a legitimate antique. Because comic books themselves, as we know it, that sort of a comic book only started in 1933. So therefore, you know, an antique, it doesn't have to be 100 years old. It has to be near the beginning. So 1933 to 1945. Mm -hmm. um, and just how much do they sell for these antiques? What do collectors pay for them? Uh, well, take, for instance, the Batman number one, which everybody talks about, everybody wants. Uh, I've gotten 250 for it. Uh, it's actually going for about 200 now, $200, for Batman number one, which was spring 1940. Uh, Superman number one, which was in the spring of 1939, I see low prices of about 125, but I also see where it's going for something like 300. It depends on who's selling it and who's buying it. One avid collector is George Olszewski. I collect old comic books because they're rare, they're interesting because they're precursors of the modern day comics that we have. And it's just sort of a, a collecting instinct. I like to have them. It's, it's very interesting. Also, the artwork in comics is um, quite exceptional nowadays. It, I have seen comic art which would compare favorably to uh, engravings by Doré, for example, in, uh, in his illustrations to the Divine Comedy. Rare comic books are reaching such value that collectors are beginning to have trouble with thieves. But as George Henderson points out, sometimes it's hard to get anyone to take the theft seriously. Stan Ratton, CBC News.